Hello, I'm John Lewis with the Association of Clinical Research Organizations. I'm joined today by Mary Woolley, President of Research America. Welcome, Mary. Thanks, John. It's great to be with you. I think you're very well known, certainly in Washington, for your advocacy efforts, but what would you like people to know about Research America? Well, Research America is working on behalf of people all over the nation who themselves or someone in their family or someone close to them is suffering from a disease or disability that we don't have the answer for yet. And we don't have the answer because we haven't committed enough resources, especially research, to find out uh, the causes and the better solutions, meaning cures and preventions for diseases and disabilities like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancer, diabetes, autism, and so many things that plague us. Now the way that these discoveries get from, from the lab, if you will, to the patients is through the clinical trials process. And obviously that's the major focus of, of ACRO. And we were fortunate enough to, to partner with Research America recently on some, on some polling around attitudes about clinical uh, trials and the importance of clinical trials. Can you share with us some of those results? Yes. Well, first let me say thank you for partnering with us on this important polling. So what we did um, in the tradition for Research America of kind of keeping our finger on the pulse of the public's opinion and questions about all aspects of research. So we found in our polling very recently that Americans, number one, know about clinical trials. They've heard of them. 80% of Americans say they know about clinical trials. Yet only about 16% say that they or somebody in their immediate family has ever participated in a clinical trial. That's quite concerning. It's That percentage has remained true for some years now, decades, in fact. Um, they further say, people say that they'd like to know more. They want to know more about clinical trials. They want to know more, especially from their doctor or other source of health care. And they say at the level of 60 to 70 percent that they would entertain, they would seriously consider participating in a clinical trial if their doctor recommended one. So we think that one of the keys to engaging more people in research so that we can move research faster is that the medical community talk more about research and encourage their patients to participate. How do we do that? How do we do that? <laughs> well, a big part of how we do it is um, making sure that patients know to ask, that they're interested enough to ask their physicians. You know, there's some myths, John, about clinical trials out there in the medical community that people are afraid of them and that they are more worried than they are positive about participation. Well, our recent poll really kind of dismisses that myth. People say that they do trust the medical system. Um, they want to trust it even more. They want to participate in trials. But again, it gets back to being asked. So I think it's convincing, you know, the answer is convincing the medical community, physicians and others, that it's a good idea to talk about research with their patients and convincing the patients to ask more questions so that we can indeed move research faster. And that's what it takes, is moving research faster to get to the goal post. If people want more information about Research America, research with a nice exclamation point in the it middle, Research America, point, right? um, where would they go to, to find that? Well, Research America has a website, researchamerica.org, and another way to reach us is by social media with hashtag cures, not cuts. And we're encouraging everyone who's interested in this topic to get involved, ask about clinical trials, ask about research funding overall, and encourage the people you vote for to stand up for research. It's important. And for more information about ACRO, please visit acrohealth.org and follow us on Twitter at acrohealth.